So uh, we're here with Tango. Um, this is an evaluation. Uh, I just got this horse like, well, uh, I was I was not touching him because of the purpose of doing this video and, and kind of show these videos. Um, and then, um, like if you, I saddle him up, he's been saddled, he's been, uh, he, 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 he didn't show me anything um, putting the saddle on or anything. So we're gonna go farther. He seems pretty sweet, a little bit on, on your space. That, that's why that's why when, when I start walking or, or, or getting, he, you see how he, he tries to put me over? Okay, he, he tries to, to get me, to get me. If I go over here, he tries to, uh, to either walk faster than me or just push on me, all right? So uh, how, are I, how am I gonna correct that? By a push of energy, okay? That I, I'm gonna start creating a boundary, okay? That he has to be in a space and I have to, I have to show him that I have certain powers, okay? That I have, that, that those powers are, are used with the, with the body language the, the stance, okay? Not with the halter, not with making him, oh, you gotta back up. He has to see my whole energy and my whole power of my body. So when I start walking, we're gonna start seeing uh, something different. Because he's, he, he just, he just like, oh. You see, you establish a superiority which is very important with horses. Horses go through a hierarchy and the hierarchy is dominance. It's based on dominance. Okay, I don't wanna dominate in him by using certain gadgets, certain um, um, special halters or anything. You, you don't need that. I gotta dominate in him with my presence, with my the way I walk, the way I, I, I did that, I wanted to do that, um, um, that, that I, I, I kind of said, you're, you're too close to me. So I sent a wave of energy and I stand um, secure. So that way I'm, I'm gonna start walking and then I'm gonna start seeing a horse that, um, that, um, that is a, He's more attentive to me. It's not that he's, he's not gonna say, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving this guy because you see we're, what, what I'm trying to do here is creating a, a trust, a bond, but a trust with that dominance that comes together, okay? You, I can dominate it with tools, with everything and everything, but he's never gonna trust me. So I'm never gonna join those two words. Dominant trust, they have to be like this, okay? So the way I, I did it with, with the certain stance um, is the initial to start building up that. It's not that you, it's an instant bond and an instant um, uh, little trust, but the trust is gonna be developed through work, through through synergy. Synergies, we are gonna start working together with the same energy, okay? He's gonna be, because I don't think he's gonna, he's, he's, uh, he's uh, um, um, accustomed to this, so he's got, and I, that's what I wanna show. I wanna show his reactions. He's like, oh my God, well, what are you doing? How do I handle it? This is very important because people, if I, if, uh, if I can show it and people start putting it on, the horse is gonna be the best beneficiary. The horse is gonna be like, oh, okay. I don't need to be treated badly. I don't need to be showing me you are the boss. Um, just like, just like uh, be that dominant, but create a trust. So again, I'm gonna start walking and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send them sometimes that energy like that. Yeah, because you see that, that show, show the power without me making it suffer or, or making it uncomfortable. Like you can say, oh, make your whole uncomfortable. And then when he when he just kind of sit and relax, you just leave him alone. 
And that, that, that works. There is a lot of ways to go to Chicago. But then what, what are you gonna, that way I don't like it because it's more demanding and it's more like, okay, I feel pain, so therefore I'm, I'm giving to you. You are my master. Because I'm feeling a little bit of pain. You see, when you put up a special halter with a lot of knots or everything, you're creating pressure points that it creates pressure. And if you ana analyze the video and everything, the way I handle my tools, yeah, sometimes I have to hold it. Yes, I'm in an open uh, open area, so I gotta have to hold it, uh, but I, I will never jerk it and I will never go after him with this, with this tool making it uncomfortable, okay? So again, I'm gonna start walking. So, this is so important. This is the kindergarten of, of uh, uh, like if you, if you, if you, um, and I'm gonna describe it, how, how, how was he wo walking with me when I brought him here? He was like here, he was pushing me, he was, he was like this face, he was not set up. He was not, this boundary was not, he, he, he didn't have it in, in, her, in his mind or anything. It was not created, I created, okay? And I have to develop it because it, it doesn't mean that he's not gonna challenge me, okay? It doesn't mean that I do it once. I have to keep doing it until it becomes like, like any single gesture of my body language, it means something to him, okay? Because they are experts on body language. So we are the one who have to learn, not them, okay? We, when we learn that, we can see that we communicate better. When I came here to the United States, I had to learn English if I wanted to communicate. Okay, it's my second language and I have a lot of mistakes and, and, I, and, and sometimes I, I fish for words and I apologize for that, but, but, uh, but I had to learn it in order to, to talk to somebody. So the, with the horse, I had to learn the body language like they do it, masterly. Like they are masters of body language. So again, I'm gonna uh, ask him to follow me. So you see, I, I'm not pulling that line to follow me. I just, I'm just telling you with signals that later on, those signals are becoming like, like solid. Like, uh, like I said, come on, and then he, he's gonna come. So I have, I have to start using those signals. Um, uh, you see, he was a little bit. So I have to tell him with my body language immediately and, 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 and assertively um, right there he, 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 he this is very important to you concentrate yourself a little bit on this and start putting um, um, that leadership you see because I'm gonna become his mentor I don't want to become his boss okay I don't want to become his Alpha horse, I hate that. And I've been hearing it with a lot of times with the natural horsemanship, be the alpha horse, be the alpha horse. The alpha horse is a jerk. He kicks the other one, he's a loner. Nobody loves him. I want my horse to love me, okay? That's, that's, that's very important. So in order to create that, I need to for him to trust me. So very important that I, that I respect him. You see, I, 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 how I, I, I been respectful to him by not, not like treating him like, hey, you gotta back up because you are on my space. And if you don't back up, I gonna put it like really hard for you to understand. And then I, I, I make it easy when you're, when you just comply. Okay. So with that, I, I establish that and the horses start saying like, uh, you know what, I, I can listen to this guy, this guy, um, uh, and, I, and, and he also needs to learn patience, okay? So again, 